I found my calling and my purpose with entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship has been a part of my life since I was a young girl, but we all know as we get older, we go with what society says we should do, like find a job or go to school. I tried both. I attempted college for a semester and realized it wasn't something I wanted to do. And then I eventually attended beauty school, which I obtained my licensing and decided I don't really know what to do with it. Started working and I worked multiple jobs and a lot of jobs were not great for me. I dealt with issues with management, issues with customers, just a lot of different things. It came to a point where my fiance and I sat down and he was like, look, I believe in you. This is something that you started when you were in beauty school. Why don't you just start the business? I ended up going to a local nail supply store and investing in all of the inventory I needed to start out. We also went to the mall every weekend handing out business cards to gain my clientele. And as my skills started to progress and I gained more clients, I realized that my passions were still not being fulfilled. I came to God and I asked him about starting a product line and I invested in nail tips and we had great sales with that and it was the start of my journey with manufacturing my own product. And even recently, you know, with the acrylic and everything and how you all loved it, I was like, okay, I believe that this is what God is calling me to do. And so now as we continue to go forward, I'm like, how can I empower all women? So ultimately, if you're someone who's an aspiring entrepreneur, who's maybe having a hard time, I want you to know to keep going and continue to keep God on your journey. And I need to keep God on my journey even more than I have been lately. Um, and don't get so caught up in being overwhelmed and frustrated and things like that, because that just means you're trying to do too much on your own and you're not really confiding in God.